both sides were 100% Jewish and uh, tried their best, I think, to actually get over that. Yeah, they were 100% assimilated. And I have uh, found in my mom's files, uh, my mom's alive, but uh, I did go through a bunch of her papers. Um, and uh, I found the, what was this now? Some, some paperwork that was my mom's grandparents, and they already, uh, they, they had something that said faith, Jewish, but it wasn't, there was some part of it that made me think that it's, they were not totally <laughs> convinced that that was the right thing to write down. <laughs> uh, so there was some sort of a question. Then when my uh, grandmother and Richard Fries were getting married, they, on their marriage certificate, which I found, had already written uh, no faith. Oh, I know what the paper was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that was my grandmother's birth certificate. Yes. So they wrote that she was somehow from a Jewish community, but was not Jewish faith. Something like that. It was kind of ambivalent. Then when she was getting married, so this is like 1902. And they were already kind of on the fence, you know, so this is pre-Hitler, pre-anything. They just wanted to be assimilated and fit into the Czech society without necessarily uh, being considered Jewish. So, so then when the two were getting married, Hannah and uh, Richard, they, they wrote no faith. And then when my mother was born, uh, Renee Fries, Friesola actually in Czech, uh, so her description in her birth certificate kit is actually Catholic. So they really gone, it was a progression over 30 years where the family was going further and further from uh, wanting to be Jewish. But of course, uh, that didn't mean anything to, to Hitler. So uh, whatever you consider means, you know, zero. And then what matters is what's actually your blood. So of course, they all went regardless of all of those papers. They went to um, to first Terezin, and uh, from there, my grandfather Richard Fries and his um, and uh, uh, other the rest of the family uh, went to Auschwitz, where they died. And uh, my mom and grandma survived. So the two of them came back in 1945.